Study guide number 15. Your rear view mirror produces a reduced upright image of the cars behind you. If a car is some distance behind you and the magnification is given, what is the radius of curvature of your rear view mirror? You'll need to know several different relationships here. Let's start with that radius of curvature relationship. The radius of curvature, I'll write that as C, is uh, equal to twice the focal length. So this would imply that in order to find radius of curvature, I need to know the focal length. So the focal length of a lens was given by the, I'm sorry, of a mirror or a lens, same relationship. The focal length, 1 over the focal length, is 1 over the object distance plus 1 over the image distance. Uh, these Fs are the same. I'll capitalize this guy so it's more consistent. So I'm given a distance to the object, that's the car behind me, and I'm given a magnification. So this is a problem here because I don't have the distance to the image. So now we need to pull in the magnification relationship. Magnification in a mirror is equal to either the image height over the object height or the opposite of the image distance over the object distance. By the way, I, I've remembered this equation because m equals hi ho. So first we start to find the image distance using the magnification equation. Once we know the image distance, we substitute it into the lens equation to find the focal length of the lens, then we substitute it into the radius of curvature equation to find the radius of curvature.